Disclaimer. Nam Say Radio does not necessarily care about views, opinions, convictions, organizations, or being offended. The content of this show is a reasonable effort to be factually accurate. No responsibility is assumed for editorial or clerical errors, or error occasioned by honest mistake. All information contained on this show is subject to change by the appropriate officials of Namse without prior notice. Material on Namse does not serve as a contract between Namse and any other party. Now, enjoy the show. You are now listening to the Namse Radio Network. Yay! Canada, say I, St. Petersburg, Florida. Say I, Bay, Canada, say I, Love Texas, Deborah Black. Canada, say I, Pasa, Dina, Maryland. Say I, Bay, Freedom of Speech, and it's fun. Fucking this. The show 79 of Nam Say Radio. K N O M S A I. Why? Because I am a Valentine. Welcome into show 79. Yeah. Uh, we got Amani in, uh, not in the house. We thought we were going to have her, but. Why don't, you introduce, why don't you introduce everybody that's in the house first? Oh, well, all right. I'll do that shit. So, anyways, I'm Ricky. That's Lack. Yo. Mike's over there with the other microphone. I think Lax is a sweetheart. Oh. All right, well, that's very cute. All of you guys can be my Valentine any day. Okay, fag. Uh, you got Ben over there and Mandis on the couch. Our guest tonight is Imani. She uh, will be calling in halfway through the show. Uh, we have Excellent! Yeah! Perfect timing. Yeah, that's right. We got uh, sound effects back. So <clears throat> uh, She's got a new song coming out, um, Love and Aloha. It's going to be on iTunes tomorrow. But we got it first because we're now say radio and we get all the hookups and shit. So, uh, anyways, drinking commands. We'll do this shit real quick. Yep. Uh, drinking command for this week is motherfucking the celebrity drink command is Ben Stein. Yep. And then it is um, Ben Stein. Our sponsors: Ice Cold Teas, Love since it's Valentine's Day show, Nail Polish from the Throwback Show, and Overby. Our, our drinking commands for tonight. And on this episode, we are bringing back from our old school show the cup topic, but tonight it's a ramekin topic. Yes. Just letting everybody know that real quick. Well, explain to them uh, what it is. For people uh, yeah, if uh, people don't know what a cup topic is, our show is completely freestyle. We have no idea what we're going to talk about. Uh, we have sort of an idea because of, you know, each show has its different scheme but uh on our old show when shit got dry we would do a cup topic which is we write shit down over the week and then you know we pull it out of a hat or out of a cup and in this case a ramekin and we pull the topic out and we just talk about it you know what let's give them a little in well no let's finish our intro do we have anything to talk about the intro what what happened last week i can barely even remember last week yeah that's what i'm saying uh, last week we had uh, our first. <laughs> Why is it that you can't remember last week, Mike? No, I did. Oh, I, I could have something to do with it. <laughs> I can um, barely remember yesterday. Well, maybe give him the call in number. Oh, yeah. Um, call in number is 443 827 4200. Again. 443 that's fucking confusing. I hope whoever's listening can remember okay. that. Four twenty, and then one more zero. All right. Well, next week we're gonna have a whole a whole different setup. Ice cold cheese has been oh drink. <laughs> Is uh giving us a whole new mixer board and a bunch of other stuff. We're gonna have Skype calling capabilities like 
they finally stepped up. I think they're going to have their website up soon. They got they're waiting on some merch. I know we've been talking about this for over a year now, but it's actually about to happen from what they're telling us. But they've been they, they've been around for a while. So uh, cheers to Ice Cold Teas right now. Thanks. Excellent. Guys. <laughs> talking about or I've been hearing their website's supposed to be up. Uh, I think February of last year. Yeah, they're right, fucking well, huge just, slackers. Nobody can I'll figure just, out why. I'll just say this. Oh, never mind. <laughs> there's three there's three phases of reality. There's the thought, there's the dream, and then it turns into reality and once it becomes a reality, it's up to you to deal with that reality. So maybe in hindsight, Ice Cold Tees has been, you know, testing the water so to speak maybe maybe making test runs to see if their products will work and then at that time they'll do some reruns i don't know i'm just speculating at this point i have no clue what these guys are up to i do know that they uh do hold cavalry which is popular in our local community which is pretty cool they've been around for a long time and jaguar even hit us up at one point they were like Man, you guys know the guys that did cavalry? That's so cool. Fuck yeah. Dude, those cavalry guys are so fucking cool. It's not even I mean, funny. I wish I was on that level. No no wonder. I think them dudes are faggots. Well, I mean, everybody's entitled to their personal opinion. <laughs> oh, wait. What was that, Mike? Faggots. All right, so yeah, let's start off with the cup topic or a uh, uh, ramekin topic, just to refresh. Ramekin topic number one. So, Lack's gonna pick one out. All right, I'm gonna grab the other mic. Thank you, Mike. By the way, Mike grabbing Mike. Mike all right, there's one that's like calling. It's like pick me. You really pick can't me. shuffle it up without them all falling out. So I just picked the one that's there. Mac, you can grab my mic any day. This is getting very Your Mick. Gay. Your Mick. <laughs> my Mick Mike. Uh, I'll let you announce it. Okay. Um. Uh, bad. All right, bitch. Uh, the cup topic or ramekin topic of tonight. Ramekin first, topic. ramekin topic Ram is top. ram top. Bad drivers. Bad drivers. This is my fucking CBF. Well, go ahead, man. And tell <laughs> us. That I know this one was yours, so. It's easy, yeah. Dude, this. M yeah, it is. This is my CBF. Every week, this is my permanent CBF. CBF for life. So, what, what's what do you hate about bad drivers? Everything. All right, Mike, fucking give us some damn details so we can have a radio okay. show. So, I drive on McMullen Booth pretty much every day. I drive on East Bay pretty much every day. Armerton pretty much every day. US 19 quite a bit. Mm -hmm. You drive around a lot. It's, you get well, around. See, it's kind of hard to avoid driving down those roads you know, in Pinellas County. These boys fucking down, down, get around. I get around. I get around, around. Wee! So this morning, I'm driving over the Bayside Bridge. Chris, shut up! Chris, shut up! Shit. Go, go. There's a person in the left lane. All right. Number one, I want to start out by saying that the, the bridges that cross Tampa Bay, I don't know if people know this, but, like, when you hit the Bayside Bridge or the Howard Franklin, <laughs> the Courtney Campbell, the Gandhi, mm -hmm. you have a license to drive as fast as you please. Yeah, I usually do. And if you're in the left lane... That is not true, Ricky, because you're late to everything. No, I drive fast as shit because I'm late to everything. Why are you always late, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Just so everyone know, Ben's on the uh, the soundboard with the ben sound button. effects. Ben Button, hitting the buttons. Did we ever introduce anybody? Yeah, I finished. Okay. I gave everybody a quick intro. Oh, yeah, that's right. Done and done. Okay, so go. Go, dude. Sorry. If you're driving on a bridge, you have no business being in the left lane unless you're driving at, like... A three-digit mile per hour. Totally agree. Yeah, if you're driving, like, fucking... Uh, the one. speed limit, get the fuck over. Like, you're literally passing gas on the left lane. If you're not passing gas, get the fuck in the middle or right. If you're in the middle lane, you need to be going faster than the people in the right lane. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, from, from left lane over, like, it should be really fast, pretty fast, and kind of fast. You know? And then, like... Well, a little the, above speed limit and speed limit. The shit that bothers me is, like, when you get on somebody's at, like, you know, me, when I'm in the left lane and I'm trying to do 78 to 80, you know, it's like you'll get on somebody's ass and they'll get all fucking pissed off about it. And you're like, dude, I'm in the left lane. Like, if you're in the left lane, you either need to be passing or you need to get the fuck out of my way. Like, it's nothing personal. I'm not here to, you know, 
carjack you or road rage, just get the fuck out of the way, man. It's a polite kind of, hey, excuse me, I'm on your ass. You know what I mean? Could you scoot the fuck over so I can get where I'm going? Exactly. I mean, it's like maybe they're kind of not paying attention. They look up in the rear view and they're like, oh, there's a car really close to me. Maybe I should just get over so they can keep hauling ass. Right? Hauling ass. So, uh, yeah. I can't remember where I was going with that. Bad drivers fucking suck. Well, yes. People that stop at green lights really suck. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll say something. Why did about- you stop at a red light and let me hit you doing 80? What we used to do as kids is uh, as soon as we got our license, as like all of our buddies, we'd have like a fucking cavalry, if you will. And we'd be driving down the road and be like, all right, let's. And, and we all had cell phones. Like, that's when cell phones first came out. And uh, this is very distracting. Imani, we have her on the phone now. do we want to take her or after the. Yeah, like. What the fuck? I was in the middle of a story. Imani just nomsay radioed me from wherever the fuck she's at. Well, Happy well, Valentine's Day. I kind of want to know if Imani has any bad driver stories. Wait, I wasn't done with mine. La- oh, Lack, you were you were telling you were talking about something? <laughs> oh, oh, weird. <laughs> Play your song. Play your song. Play your song. We'll get back All right, are you God ready? Damn I'm it gonna, anyway. Lack, anyway. do you want to finish your story? No, Go ahead. fuck it. Are you sure? It's, it sounds really important. Well, what we used to do, yeah, it's real quick. There would be a green light, and we'd have all three lanes blocked up, and we'd, nobody would go forward. And we'd, everybody would be stuck at the red light or the green light, honking. Brr, brr. We'd had cars, like, swerving around And us. you'd go right when it turned and, and yellow. Right when it turned yellow, we'd go. Yeah. yeah. Oldest trick in the book, and you, Geico. Faggotry 101. You did this in Texas. Yes. How did you not fucking get shot? <laughs> hey man, get because that Because everybody has guns there, you never know. Like, they could shoot back. If I lived it's in a Texas, very peaceful community over there. I would have shot the shit out of all you little fucking punks. Yeah. We used to light streets on fire and shit, cut our arms, burn, burn each other with lighters, all kinds of crazy shit. All right, so are we ready to get into yeah. Amani? Let's go right, into Amani. Go. Chris, shut up! All right, here she is. <laughs> Something right to deserve you in my life. You're honest with me. In touch with what I feel, boy, I adore you. And I want more of you. So, darling, bring it here. Scoot yourself, come near. I'm hungry for your breath. Did you whisper in my ear? Can't get enough, boy. I crave your touch, boy. And you're my love, and To believe in love before you found me And I'm looking at my future with you Boy, you found me I job last that's right You are my life, I'm loyal I'm a treat you like a king Deserve the end of the spring Give your loyal I said to my life to live Careful with my heart, gentle with my soul. You have my trust, and you have my love and aloha. In my heart and my soul, you're my love and aloha. My paths are both the ends of the rainbow. I'll be your dream, your queen, your fantasy. I'll be your hope, your joy, and your goodness. I'll be your dream, your queen.
right, we're back. Uh, that was Amani with Love and Aloha. We have her on the line right now. Uh, we'll, we'll let her talk. Uh, it sounds like she's out somewhere. She couldn't make it to the show, but she's out somewhere uh, having a good time, apparently. Amani, you're on Namse Radio. Uh, tell us why you couldn't be here tonight and why we're playing your music. Hey, I can barely hear you guys. Okay, cool. Awesome. Did you pick that up? Okay, Amani, can you hear me? I can a little bit. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? How have you been since uh, like two years ago when you, we had you on AM radio? Gosh, man, I've been great. I missed you guys. I see you guys still plugging away. Yeah, we're still plugging away all right, except for I have nothing to plug into. <laughs> She laughed, bitch. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Uh, tell us about your uh, tell us about your new song that we just played. Oh, I'm so stoked about this song because it's like, you know, it's just capturing that good feeling of of being in a positive, like you know, wanting to have a really good, happy, loving, beautiful relationship, you know. And uh, I actually wrote this song uh, when I was just getting out of a really terrible relationship. And I, knowing the, the powers of manifestation in your words, like what, if you write stuff, the, the chances are, like, if I was to write about, like, bitterness and resentment of being in this negative relationship, that all that stuff would have uh, kept happening to me. And so I decided to start writing a... Amani. <laughs> For sure, Imani, and in your past relationships, and I know this is a very sensitive subject, so you do not have to answer this, but were were you ever touched in the bad way? Was it, oh, like beaten up or anything? Right, like I know uh, woman abuse is big time these days because of all the aggressive anger that men have. So if you don't want to get into it, I totally understand, but oh, no, no, if you no, want to no, share... No, it was nothing, nothing like that. It was nothing like that. It was just like arguing, you know, like... Being arguing, shit, that's, that's abusive in and of itself. Yeah, but so arguing. So, like, just talking shit? <laughs> huh? So, just like, so, just like, talking shit? Uh, I can't hear you, man. Oh, so, just like, talking shit? Oh, my goodness, like. Yeah, just like, you know, negative, um, just like, uh, not getting along with somebody, you know, just like, more of a negative interaction as opposed to something positive and beautiful, you know? Yeah, but doesn't arguing usually lead to good touching? No. Well, some, sometimes, Amani, I, I want to say there's a little bit of give and take on this sensitive subject because sometimes whenever I'm getting intimate and I'm in a loving relationship, sometimes I like to get out here. Excellent! Sometimes, sometimes I like to get out here. Naughty. He likes to get naughty. real oh, fucking naughty. Too, you know, that's all good. There's always space to that. Right. Like, there. I mean, it's not, like, safe word type shit, but, you know, it gets a little nom say sometimes. And I'm sure that's all good. Fuck yeah, it is. <laughs> all right. So where, um... Do you, do you like the jam? Are you thinking the left metal hat? Yep, I, I definitely love to to rub back and forth and bounce up and down and do jumping jacks to Love and Aloha, your new single. Yeah, thanks, man. You know, um, I mean, originally, I, of course, I come from Hawaii, so people think of Aloha as like a way of saying hello, but they don't really realize that um, Aloha is, is a spirit, you know, it's a way of life. It's something so much bigger than a greeting, you know? So, right, it's like being high. Like sharing uh, Hawaiian culture and you know where I come from with, uh, with other people around the world, so that they can kind of relax, uh, connect, and relate to to that feeling of aloha, you know? Right, they resonate with it, if you will. Yeah, you know. Yeah, for sure. Well, uh, I think we're going to get back to the show right now, but definitely thank you for calling in, and uh, good luck with your new single on iTunes tomorrow. We're definitely going to be uh, promoting that with you and for you and alongside you and above you and underneath and behind. Uh, thank you, man. And if you want to send, uh, I, we have lots of shows coming up, especially in St. Pete. 
if people want to go to imanilive.com, you can check out the, uh, the website. There's plenty of shows. Uh, we're at the Avenue. We're at Mandarin Hyde. We're all over that downtown central district. So uh, come so, check us out. So downtown's giving you a lot of love and aloha right now. A lot of love and aloha downtown St. Pete. Yeah, into our summer tour. So let's stay in touch and maybe I'll come into the studio one Thursday and I'll sing Love and Aloha live for you guys. Yeah. Can't wait. Excellent. All right. Thank you for featuring me tonight. I love you guys. Much love, homie. Bye. Jesus, that that was probably the best interview we've ever had on this show. It was terrific. That was very good. Well, love was a drink command, and we said it about like six times towards the end. So everybody drink. Yep. Okay. Love. love. Well, I gotta grab it. I gotta grab another brewski. Love, love, love. So, uh, yeah. So you guys want me to fire up an Ocean Stone song? You want to get back into cup topics? Uh, um, you know, let's kind of yeah. Let's go with the, give us uh, give us some Ocean Stone. You want some? All right, here. Why we everybody go, go get some beer refill? Here's Ocean Stone, sitting by the sun. I don't know why it's not playing. I don't know. As long as it's recording, that's all that matters.
microphone that's sitting by the stun. Um, so what uh, what do you what do you want to do? Let's jump into. Uh, Let's do another cup topic. Yeah, man. why don't we? Let's jump into a cup topic so real quick I'll and uh, it up really quick. yeah, shuffle that shit up. And our cup topic for tonight is restaurant shit. Another one of Mike's. It's a ramekin topic. But what's a restaurant? Like, you have to shit in the restaurant? No, like, a restaurant is a place where people go and they spend money to get food. That they well, I know, I know. I, I mean, I know, realize what a restaurant is, oh. but I mean, like, when he says restaurant shit, is it just, like, random shit that just happens like, at a restaurant? Right, or? like, from the customer or from people in the service industry. I, I thought he meant, like, maybe taking a dump out in public. How do you guys feel about taking a dump in public? I hate like? it. Isn't it awful? I go to the thrift store, and for some reason, whenever I'm at... This is unrelated restaurant topic, but taking shits in general, the thrift store has the grossest bathrooms ever. Always, dude. Because who shops in thrift stores? Black. Homeless people. Homeless people. Amanda, you're homeless. You're talking you about taking a shit, person. like, in, when you say taking a shit in public, you mean, like, taking it in, like, I a mean, taking bathroom. a shit anywhere other than Not your like toilet. Taking a shit, like, in the woods in public. No, 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 no. Like, I mean, like, shitting a in a public area. Oh, that's fine. You know, I mean, because yeah, I mean, I'll dump at somebody's you gotta house. You got to go. You got to go, man. My house. I'm not hold it. Yeah, well, that's a great point. We used to have this hold. buddy that used to like to dump on bumps. We call it bum dumping. He would yeah. shit on people. He would yeah. Cleveland steamer it. He would just go up to bums and poop and piss on them and just be like, "Oh well, don't be homeless." And that one. Excellent. Isn't there a scene like that in American Psycho? Where he shat on somebody? Kinda. He went up and he stabbed a bum. Yeah. But he didn't. I don't know. I know he killed a bum. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know if he shed on him. Can I say something real quick? Ben Stein. Drink. Mm. I like shitting at home, man. I feel like there's really no place like home. Right? All right, so so what about restaurant shit? Now the actual cup yeah. topic. I mean, you all three of you guys work in the, in a restaurant, so I mean, I'm sure you guys have plenty to say as far as Chick Baby works in a restaurant. Yeah, too. Chick Baby does work. In a I restaurant. have my 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 restaurant shit for. I, I mean, I guess this week is the main thing is exact exact change in money and everything else. So like an old lady, they call it an old lady exchange where we work, where they give you the exact amount. In cash and dimes and nickels, pennies, everything. And it takes them like five minutes to do. Like, what your hope is, you just have somebody that's like sort of wealthy come in and just use their card and tip you five bucks. Like, don't give me exact change and then not top on top of it because you're just taking up time. But other than that, I mean, that, well, you, we have a lot of old people that come into our work. Well, yeah, you guys got to deal with customers and shit. I don't have to deal with all that shit. I, I have to deal with fucking people ordering uh, food with five minutes to go before we close the kitchen. That's the fucking worst. That's what I fucking hate. It's like I'm trying to close, clean, and get the fuck out of here. And then somebody wants to fucking call or somebody wants to, to order some, some fucking shit for the fryers that I can't fucking close down. And then motherfucking holds me up 20 minutes. Sorry, bitch. I'm sure they can hear me. So it's just like waiting then where it's like somebody comes in at the last minute and everybody's like, fuck! Yeah, that's me. Wait, you're, you, what happened? What happened there, Amanda? <coughs> Friend just got in trouble, major trouble. Like she almost got fired, but she's a good worker because someone came in five minutes early and she said, "Oh, we're closed," trying to help everyone out. Right. Oh. Excellent. Told, you're gonna get fired if you do that again, and let this be a lesson. Talking about people getting fired before Mike does his little restaurant shit is uh, uh, phone call orders. Like you do takeout, right, at most restaurants. And uh, this guy, he for, he didn't press the hold button the right way, so it was still a live call. And he was like, this fucking bitch ordered like eight things. And at the very end of it, and like in, in micros, the system that we use, you can't go back into it and do the extra chicken thing or like high protein because a lot of people do that. They're like, I'm watching my diet. I don't need a lot of carbs. I don't want a lot of carbs, so more pro more protein, please. Oh, you're on a high protein diet? Let me give you some extra protein. Bitch. Yeah, let me come in your food, motherfucker. So anyway, so like he's talking to somebody else. Like he has no idea that the fucking call is live. And he's like, he just like the bitch says the shit and he he's he fucking puts the phone down. It's still live, right? And he's like, this fucking bitch just high proteined every single 
order. And that means you have to back out and go all the way up and start over. He was like, you know what, man? Fuck this bitch. I'm not even going to fucking like all this shit. And she heard it. And then he picked up back the phone and she was like, I heard everything you said. <laughs> and then like... <laughs> So she said, I heard everything you said, and what did he say? He was like, well, people... I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that was his response right there. Well, no, he said, well, people need, it. people need to know stuff like that. Oh, shit. Did he and get then, fired? And yeah, he got fired on the spot. They let him finish out his shift, but at the very end, they were like, later. Hey, by the way, uh, we heard that phone call. Don't come back tomorrow. Yeah, you're fired. Thank you. Peace. All right, Mike, top that. Uh, one of the... I didn't know this was a competition. Oh, everything's a competition within men. Yeah, so one of the servers last night had the table come in. Uh, she had around probably like six people sitting at the table. And uh, the person with the best manners at the entire table was a three-year-old. <laughs> and uh, when the party got up and left the table, they didn't leave her enough money to cover the bill. Oh dang! Like so six short, AP. short tipping. Yeah, I mean they didn't even pay their bill. She had to pay out of her pocket to cover that check. The biggest CBF is a table of seven because it's right before gratuity, just right before. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for servers that have to deal with those situations. Well, luckily at the, the establishment that I'm so lucky to be a part of, and they really saved my ass after I got fired from the warehouse job for uh, sticking up for another employee that got shoved. Uh, and I was technically a floor manager at the time, and I stuck up for him, fired. Then they rehired me and fired me again. This has nothing to do with restaurant shit, but... Uh, yes, you were a floor manager. Yeah. Meaning you didn't do shit Anything. all Nothing. fucking day. I took shits. I was on Facebook doing Play nonsense Angry shit, Birds. Playing Angry Birds. <laughs> didn't do a fucking thing besides twiddle with fucking Thomas's ball sack. All right, well, let's not name names. Yeah, fuck him. Anyways. So wait, what did you do all day long? <laughs> <laughs> that's, exact, that's exactly true. That I true. get... I'd get fucking high in the parking lot with Ricky. We do snake breaks, and I come back in and play yeah, Angry true. Birds for an hour, and then they'd be like, "Whack! When's this order gonna be packed up?" And I was like, "Fucking don't we have till like tomorrow to do it? <laughs> I'll come in late. Like I'm not trying to work when I'm supposed to work, but I'll I'll work when work needs to be actually done." All right, let's uh sure let's do it. You want freestyle? Let's do it. Rasta Rick. Rasta Rick and Star Kid, uh, epic secondary freestyle from the gay and retarded show, fucking a long time ago. I don't know. All right, let's do this shit. So Ben's watching. You ready? Well, are they going to be able to hear it? As we'll I mean, well, that does, that's not. Oh, we can kind of hear it. Yeah. Okay, that works. All right, that let's works. Just play this shit. See, let's, let's do let's it. Let's do it. <clears throat> ready? All right, let's no, go. no, no. Uh, rock, paper, scissors. Who, who, whoever has to go first. All right, ready. One, two, three, shoot. I win. One, two, three, shoot. I win. So you you got to go first. You go first. Everybody always picks scissors. What are you, a lesbian? <laughs> Better figure it out real quick, Rick. I told you we're fucking live. God damn it. All right, well, you need to be shit. freestyling right now. Chris, shut up! It's from the AM days. AM days. Rapping on my asshole while I sit here in the castle. I'm gonna take you out back and throw you in a castle. I don't give a fuck about your motherfucking hairdo. I'm gonna fucking clean some poo off the bottom of my shoe. Yeah, bitch, come and scratch my balls. I'm gonna like shit all over the walls Now you know my name is fucking Rasta Rick And I got a pretty big brown dick Let go next star kid what it do Hey don't steal my line of star kid what it do I'm coming through like a nephew Red headed stepchild Beat me like you wanna do I'ma beat this beat up Let me get real clear no, I'm not a faggot, just a motherfucking queer. 
Hey, I really love beer, especially PBR and that Bud Wise ear. Hey, it's Star Kid getting shit together like I'm a fucking nebula. Clouds migrate through the gullet, lungs holding it down, chilling when I create buzz as I exhale. I, I hack it up, staying true to planet blue. I fucking left a trace in my wake for the world to embrace. No roads, that's not for me. I'm far out, space cadet, just wondering till I'm through. Are you through? I'll be broke as hell. I'll be broken and I'm famous. I'll be broke as hell and I'm unfamous. I'll be broke as hell and I'm unfamous. I'll be broke as hell and I'm unfamous. That's why it's a freestyle. We have no idea what the beat's doing right now. You no. can barely hear it. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going? All right, let me just got to pick back up. Yo. Yeah. Ben Stein. I, I want everybody to drink right now. Because I, I said Ben Stein. Doing my rhyme. It's our crime time. And I'm going to spray some pine saw on the floor. Then clean that shit up. I wipe it down, and then I wipe it up, because your girl has a pretty big butt, and then she said, I smell like a dirty slut, because uh, you don't Uh. take a bath, you don't use soap, you don't wash your ass, then next thing you know is that you're late for class, because you're motherfucking walking, because your car's got no gas, all right, star kids stepping through. I told MJ to drop the fucking moonwalk. It's called the star hop. Bitch, get with it. Mike salad fingers. He doesn't like that. Bam button on the switches. Yeah, I like that. This show is going real well with Rasta Ricky. Hey, remember on AM days when I said reggae Rick and got it all fucking stick? Up. I remember hey. when you had nail polish on. Yeah. Shuts. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's about it. Bro- uh, <laughs> broke and unfamous. Broke and unfamous. I'll be unfamous. broke as hell and I'm unfamous. Till Nobs Radio gets the ice cold tea endorsement and we get the mixer in. And yeah, I go acapella like Eminem. Rasta Ricky, what you gotta do? Make it sticky, bicky dicky. Fucking tricky dicky. All right, I guess that's it. Good shit. All right. Hey, that was a great freestyle. Thanks. One of the better ones I've heard. Well, we're we're getting better at it. Let's cheers the mics. Cheers the mics. Cheers. All right. Technical difficulties. What do you guys think the rest of this song about? Uh, well, let's find. That was all right. Thanks for that. Oh, yeah, but do. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, but dab a do. Yeah, I wish I had to use my feet to get to work, too. Star Kid, what it do? All right, stop, bitch. Skateboarding. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> right. stop. Give him the Chris shut up, please. All right, Ramekin topic. Ramekin topic. Ramekin topic. Chris, topic. shut up! All right, that one goes back in. I'm going to take the last one that's upside down, I which we, is... I think we have old mics going. No. Because no, we got another mics. Uh, coffee filter. Oh, that one's yours. Coffee filter cup topic. Or Ramekin topic. Why don't I'm you sorry. start off? That one's yours. No, 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 no. I want to give Mike the... Uh, the mic. Okay, we'll share ours. Well, coffee filters are used for light diffusion on cameras with flashes mostly, but. but Good one. All right, so he's talking about coffee filters. Yeah, my coffee filter life hack is that they're more like life hack coffee filters to me. Because I found out today, I like ran out of the cleaning wipes. And the consistency of the cleaning wipe is sort of like textured and has like uh, grittiness to it. So I was like, coffee filters kind of have that. So like I just sprayed some all-purpose cleaner. I, was, I, I cleaned the whole fucking house with coffee filters. And I could wipe my ass with coffee filters. I can use coffee filters to blow my nose. I can use coffee filters to swipe up my tears because my chick baby's in the siege. And I kind of miss her from time to time. Valentine's Day, what it do. So basically, you're saying that if MacGyver has a coffee filter and a paperclip, there's not shit that he can't do. He can make himself a little parachute. He can do everything with a coffee filter, apparently. That reminds me of that uh, in Half Baked, dude, with uh, one of the Baldwin guys. And he's like, all right, I need an avocado, an ice pick, a fucking blah, coffee filter. Isn't that what he says? Some shit like that? Yeah, because he had to make a bong. Yeah. 
Oh, that reminds me, later on in the show, we're going to have some movie quotes for you guys, where you, uh, where we play our movie Fuck, quote. I forgot mine already. Well, it's fine. We'll just give them to Ben, and he'll play them through. Yeah. Or we'll have to figure it out some way. But uh, that's coming on uh, the last half of the show. Right now, we're still doing some freestyling and cup topping, or ram top, ram topping. Ram topping. Uh, so, ben Stein. I like coffee filters for um, what they're actually supposed to be used for, coffee. Brewing coffee. That's that's what I like them for. Uh, Mac likes to get ram topped. Right, Mac likes to use it for fucking everything. Apparently, you wipe right. your ass with really. Do you wipe your ass with coffee filters? When you run out of teepee. Yeah. When he's, when he's getting ram topped totally in the ass. Dope. Well, so new drinking command for next week's show is ram top. <laughs> ram top. Ramrod. <laughs> no. What? What's the? Uh, what's the slogan for uh, Dodge? Dodge Ram. Can't dodge it, ram it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. There had to be a faggot that came up with that. That was like, guys, seriously, they were like in this fucking meeting, and he was like, guys, this is perfect. If you can't dodge it, fucking ram it. I bet all the other guys in the office were like, God Dude. damn it. Fucking faggots are taking over the whole marketing industry. <laughs> you know Bill's going to be at this meeting, right? <laughs> what kind of gay shit do you think Bill's going to say today? <laughs> Don't dodge it, ram it. Hey, you think when gay guys are getting pumped up and they're like, yeah, dude, let's, yeah, let's fucking tag team that guy. Do you think they hear this when they're fucking, you know, getting all pumped up? <laughs> it's on. What, uh, so my fantasy, like, if I'm a gay guy, it would be like, I want to smoke, like, like if I was trying to hit on a dude, like trying to convince him to be with me, I'd be like, I want to suck you off like I suck off a bomb. Like this, yeah, like this. Yeah, just. I want all that semen all in my. Chris, mouth shut up! Down my gullet. Yeah. So you want to be in a homosexual bukkake video? No, I don't. I feel like if I was a gay dude, I wouldn't want. I'd be like self respected enough to know face stuff, but I would. T- if I really love the guy, I let him come in my mouth. Amanda but just, face stuff, I don't know. Amanda just said she'll come all over your face before her and Ben leave tonight. No, she did not. She did too. <laughs> For th- <laughs> Everybody has red face like we're all sunburned right now. Because that definitely did not happen. So Black you don't face? want no guy to come on your face because it'll get stuck in your beard and shit? <laughs> yeah, I don't want I, I don't want a fucking icing beard. Ice cold tea beard? Ice cold. Oh, drink, <laughs> drink <laughs> motherfucker, drink. Ice that cold tea beard. Too. Is when a gay guy? No, fuck that. Is that that what it sounds like, dude? Is that is that what the is that what it sounds like when it hits your face? Uh, uh. (laughs) Taking shots to the face right there. All right, so what do you guys think about playing a uh, resonated song real quick, dude, and then jumping back into whatever uh, whatever else is next on the show? Well, yeah. Uh, uh, which song do we have by them lined up? I got uh, "Crashing on the Waves" by Resonated. Wait, wait, what what do you have to say? Well, before we go into the resonated song, I just want to let everybody know that Ben has to peace out. He has to go. Star Kid, what it do? And uh, accolades to him. Thanks for the soundboard action tonight. Yeah, I gotta Very go. Well I gotta go to work tonight. You know what I'm gonna hear on, right right before I start? <laughs> Getting pumped up, bitches. <laughs> uh, just letting everybody know we have another freestyle coming up from a uh, what's the beat, Rick? After this song, I don't know the guy that actually sings it, but I know the song's "Talk Dirty" with two chains on it. Yeah, two chains. I feel like just everybody, everybody, uh, two chains. Does he always announce his name when he comes on a no, song? No, no, Dude, no. all rappers announce. No, their like name, all man. every song I hear two chains on. It's like he's got to be like everybody, like two chains. This is two chains verse right here. I'm two chains. He's like two chains, oh! and then he'll go on his shit for every fucking song I've ever heard him on. All right, so this is how it works. When you first start out, you obviously name drop. But once you're established, you stop name dropping because within the rap, hip-hop community, if you still have to name drop, it means that you're not famous yet, which is like us, broke and unfamous. The be- the best would be when he starts name dropping, just hit him with a... Chris, shut up! His fucking original rapper name was Titty Boy. He was on Disturbing the Peace with um, ludicrous as shit, and now he's going by 2 chains. Well, I have to say something about 2 Chains and Disturbing the Peace, dude. There was a song called, I, I think we may have to find it over the break, but um, 
it had something to do with like art like I, we'll we'll play we'll play a snippet from it when we come back. But it's an epic fucking song that, like you're saying, two chains before it was two chains was Titty Boy. I totally agree. Wow, Rick, I'm really impressed right now. Shut the fuck up. Play the resonate. They're gonna be on next week's show. So, uh, I think we're back on air. Let me check. Our fucking Ben button walked away. Yeah, we're live. I can see the fucking shit flying. All right, so it's me and Mike. Uh, Ben and Amanda are currently uh, departing due to the fact Ben has to work at midnight. But it's all right. He's got uh, fucking four hours of Namse to listen to while he's at work. I think Ben's being a faggot. Well, yeah, I mean, he can tell his job to fuck off. Is that how you, is that what you mean? He's a faggot for going to work? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Of course you can tell. Your, well, you can tell work to fuck off. Like you can tell Olive Garden to fuck off. I'll tell Olive to fuck off. Yeah, I do that from time to time. Yeah, I'll be like, I don't want to work this fucking shift. Get somebody else, and then you can suck a little dick. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> a week or two ago, I got a last minute call to work on a shoot, so I was like, yeah, hell yeah, I'm gonna go do that. So. uh I called work and was like, <laughs> I can't come in tonight. The GM was like, why? I was like, <laughs> I'm under the weather. <laughs> I think I got some of the black lung. She was like, really? And I was like, yep, thanks, gotta go, by. <laughs> See you tomorrow. What, what other sound effects are on there that he's got lined up? <laughs> yeah, for some reason, that shit's so fucking funny. All right. See you guys. Night, guys. Have a good one. All right, Mike, you're in charge of that shit since you're on that side. Uh, yeah, so uh, what were we talking about? Uh, well, let's see. Um, that was fucking Crashing on the Waves by Resonated. We'll have them on the show next week. Uh, Lack covered what the new uh, situation is in the band member-ness of Resonated last week. They got uh, Justin left the band. He went on to pursue a different career. Art career. Uh, his art career. And uh, they replaced him his spot with uh, John Holt the third, 
or John Holt 3, however the fuck he wants to do it. He was on Danfield, correct? And Danfield was on our fucking fifth or sixth show. Yeah. Yeah. John Holt looks like a bass player right now. I don't know if you guys have seen that guy lately, but he's got he, like black hair and shit. Because I saw a picture of him. Let me, uh, let, me, let me get Nam. Let me get Nam say real quick, and just speak the truth because this is what I think is going to happen with Resonated. Okay. They're going to have to find a different bass player other than John Holt. He's a good fix right now, but he's a lead guy. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of back and forth, like, oh, let me fucking do this and let me sing more. And, and Kenny's going to get sick of it and just fucking hire somebody else, like, from Trigger City Trio. Andy, I think, would be a perfect fit. But they have their own thing going on. And I don't, and they, they like, the Trigger City and Resonated is, like, the same. Like, they have the funky vibes. It's fucking great music. I'm not dogging the bands themselves. But what I'm I'm trying to say is uh, John Holt three is a good fix for now, but I don't think it's forever. Well, and I hope Justin comes back. Yeah, I mean the thing I want to say is I mean uh, I, I'm gonna hold my opinion off on like you know how it all sounds with John Holt until I hear something with them because I feel like the funkiness and the groove like Justin brought that Justin was like the right. goofy dude. I mean he did all their artwork and shit. And, uh, I mean, I don't know, like, how they're going to replace that part, but I just will ho- hold off judgment until I actually hear them play with uh, Holt now. Well, a decent example would be uh, to look at what happened with Paint the Town Red when Eric Best and uh, Justin Velarde kind of went separate ways with what they were trying to do. Eric had a baby, and he couldn't be there for everything that Justin wanted. Yeah. So, Justin created a whole other band. It sounds great. We have them on our music blocks. It's awesome music, but at the same time, Eric is also playing very awesome music. He's making a name for himself. So, it's it, it's one of those things to where you're just kind of like, it sucks to see him go, but as long as both parties are doing what they want to do with their talents, then, you know, I can't hate him for that. See... I think you're wrong, you're wrong, and you're wrong. Okay, so how? Are, what makes you right, Mike? Well, I spoke to John Holt last weekend at the uh, Shaken Not Third event that was at... Uh, Martini. Martini, yeah. yeah. With Tr- Trigger City Trigger, we post that shit. Yeah. John, John Holt is a great lead guy. He is, he is. John is a very talented guy, you know, being able to play bass the way that he does, being able to sing, playing guitar the way that he does. But uh, when I spoke to John, he was really talking about being a team player. I, John is a, a no-ego guy. Uh, he sees the bigger picture. I think that John is a good fit. Like I said, like, the way that his, his hair is and his mustache and all that shit right now, dude, like, when I saw him last weekend, like, he looked like a funky bass player, dude. Like, and he was feeling the vibe. He's got a mustache? Yeah, man. Is he like a Larry Sinclair? No, he doesn't have a, a creepster, porn, child molester stash. Not like, not like where is Sinclair, right? No. He, is that uh, what I just asked? Is it? Sorry. That's, ju- that's just what I asked. <laughs> I wasn't listening. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Play a sound bite. <laughs> All right, so anyways, uh, yeah, we'll have him on the show next week, and I don't know, hopefully the whole band can make it, at least John Holden and Kenny, and we can well, talk to them about that shit. I talked to Kenner. Kennergy, if you will. Kennergy Productions, Resonated, however you want to look at it. And he said that he's going to be able to make it, but I hope we can get the other guys in, too. Yeah. Excellent! Yeah, the, uh, Team Hassock. And that way we can clear all this up. Yeah, I mean, we'll talk to them about this shit next week, and, I mean, maybe they'll have some music, some new music that we can play. Dude, but you can't tell me. I don't know if you were at the Resonated release show or uh, CD release show. Remember when we were there? The one that we, yeah, the one that we, I shot the video for. Right, and uh, going back to the Paint the Town Red thing, when uh, Justin and Eric were up there doing their thing, like, they... They look, they look like Tenacious D. Dude, it was so fucking great, like... I just, you know, people move on and they do different things, and I understand how band, like, I'm slowly starting to understand how the band world works. Like, you have this network, and it's pretty cool, but, you know, at at the end of the day, you kind of have to do what you got to do for the bigger picture, like you're saying. And I'm glad that you had that conversation with John, 
and him saying that he wants to be a team player, I kind of looked at it a different way, and I hope I'm wrong. Um, I I texted Kenny. I was like, you know what? Even though Justin kind of is doing his own thing now, that's respectable. He's doing what he's trying to do as an artist. That's great. And John, he can be there for badass bass playing, badass vocals. So it could be a great fit. I'm not trying to say that it won't be. I'm just saying, you know, it's hard. It, it's easy to miss the original shit. Oh, I'm, there's no replacing Justin Runfall. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I was uh, I liked him. He was a fun dude, like playing music and uh, like on stage and off the stage. Justin Runfall is no shit. A funky ball of titties from outer space. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Groovy dude. Well, is what he was saying. The the, sh- the first show that we had him on, he was like, "Let's play Purple City Highway by whatever," and it was like, "Boo doo 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 doo." Like that guy n- loves and knows music. You know, just as well as anybody Chris, else. Chris, shut up! <laughs> he was just a, a big stoner, and he was funny as shit yeah, during he, the he's interviews. Awesome. And, uh, yeah. So, anyways, next week's show will have resonated. Yeah, they'll be able to clear this up themselves, right? For sure, for sure. And I'm sure there's no hard feelings, though. We'll find out. Yeah. Exactly. Tune in next week. All right, so what do we, we want to get a, a, a ram top real quick, or we want to do something else? Let's yeah, let's, let's do a ram top. Yeah. Let's do a ram top. Ram top it up. What, that's your topic. What topic oh, I is thought that? you pulled it. It's it's hipsters. Oh, hipsters. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I love I love this one because there is no the disclaimer, there's no fucking such thing as a hipster. If you buy a fixed gear, it means you like an old school bike. If you wear your beanie a certain way, it just means you like to wear your beanie a certain way. If you, what's up? Well, why don't you explain to everybody what exactly the definition of or the image of a hipster is? Well, that's what I'm saying. There's, there's no such thing as a hipster. It's just normal society looking at people doing things different from normal C and calling it a hipster. So you could wear a flannel shirt, you could grow out a mustache, you could grow out a beard, like a long beard, you could ride a fixed gear, you could be a skateboarder, you could be uh, a fucking metalhead, you could be somebody that shops at a thrift store, and you're considered a hipster. So you're just, they're basically trying to group together a bunch of people that are just expressing themselves in their own fucking way. And that's what I don't understand about it. It's people being labeled? Yeah, they're just being labeled like, oh, uh... You know, gay guys, all like pink clothing, just like blonde girls. Yeah, but you said that is people trying to express themselves in their own way. Do you really feel like what you just described is individualism? Well, I'll say this. Hipster, I think what most people look at it as, you know, I was doing it before it was socially acceptable or popular or whatever. So, like, you know, somebody could... Like I'm saying, like, I, I've been shopping at thrift stores since, you know, before junior high. And it just got popular now. So I'm a hipster, right? Because I was doing it before it was cool. That's the, the quote-unquote hipster is doing something before it's socially acceptable or cool or whatever. So, like, thick frame glasses are considered a hipster now. Like, if you have thick frame glasses, but body, Buddy Holly was doing that fucking... 50, 60 years ago. I love the classic look of Ray-Bans. I mean... That's exactly, but you're a hipster now. So it's just like labeling society off of what's outside of the realm of normality is, I guess, what I'm saying. My Uncle George rocks Ray-Bans like a champ. Well, that's perfect. My my problem with this is that uh, you get a bunch of dudes that wear the same shoes, skinny jeans, flannel shirts, beards... Glasses, beanies. They all stand out in front of Saki Bomb on Central Avenue. <laughs> and they and they all they're all sleeved out. They look at you like they think that they're better than you. And that sucks. Like that, there are certain types of people that just suck. There but. are, there are a bunch of pretentious douchebag cocksuckers that hang out in downtown St. Pete that I would label as hipsters, and I think that uh, they're a bunch of faggots. Well, that's what I'm saying, but, like, a hipster could be anybody. Like, do you like if I bought a bike and I was like, oh, well, I have to use the bike in reverse mode, like little kid style, to stop the bike, or I can't even at all. It has no brakes. Am I a hipster at that point? 
If I grow out a mustache, am I a hipster? If I grow out a beard and wear flannel, am I a hipster? You might be a redneck. So I guess I think if you, I think if you grow out a beard and wear a flannel, you're probably a lumberjack. <laughs> you're fucking. You might be white trash. What's that guy's name with the Jeff Foxworth? No. Paul um, Bunyan. Paul Bunyan with the uh, the brawny guy and the ox. Yeah, with an ox. Yeah. Babe, the ox. All right, so uh, yeah, I just well, let's just let's just real quick because it's a ram top spelled out without condensing it is ramekin topic, which is where we're pulling this from. Good one, Farva. Thanks. <laughs> car ramron, say car ramron. Um, definitions of a hipster go. Hmm. I think. See, I think that there's a negative connotation now with hipster you know like i think that a hipster technically probably is somebody that is up on current things you know they they might be a little ahead of the trend but i think that the way that hipster is being construed now is those kinds of people that they think that they're being uh cutting edge they think that they're being clever definitely unique yeah they think that they're being unique and they're like know all this shit that nobody else knows but in all reality they're just following this cookie cutter outline whatever of like a new sub genre of I don't know you know like people you know like you got like your wiggers and you got like your club kids and you know like now you got like hipsters I think they're all a bunch of cum belly faggots uh, if you look at our nominees for biggest fashion trend Skinny jeans, wearing a beanie during the summer, cut off skinny jeans, right? Those are all those are three hipster traits right there, qualities. So it, yeah, hipsters right there. Uh, I feel like it, uh, just let me step in real quick. It's how you wear your beanie. I think if you wear a beanie during the summer, I've said this on multiple shows. It's been my CBF at the end of the night multiple times. If you're wearing a beanie during the summer, you're a fucking faggot. Well, so there's a big difference between being a faggot and being a hipster. You're a faggot hipster. All right, so now we're uh, hipsters or faggots. It, my my thing. It's like you he, beanies are for the fucking winter. It's cold outside. You wear it the fucking keep your head warm. Right. You don't wear it because you have fucking. You don't feel like combing your hair because you fucking got nasty ass bed hair and you don't wash that shit. Well, I just want to say so. There's a there's a whole society of hipsters is what I'm gathering. Where you're a faggot hipster, you're a wigger hipster, you're a you're a fashion hipster, you're a photographer hipster that only takes like golden shots and like never steps outside the band I was so hoping you said golden showers <laughs> well I almost did I, I almost thought you were about to say it there's a, well, a blog I mean, or a website or something I think that's called dads are the original hipsters yeah yeah cause everything that's going on right now like and this is I, this could segue into a really cool topic is uh, how history repeats itself right and the reason that history repeats itself is because history is there and people look at history and they understand history and they kind of form their you know what's going on right now into what happened then and they can't even help it but I I think my thing is just that I'm so tired of going to downtown St. Pete and the attitude that everybody in downtown St. Pete has. You know, like... Well, stop going to the Benz. Stop going to fucking Emerald. Stop going to Saki Bomb. Stop going to fucking One Night Stand. Like, those people suck. Go to Octave. Go to Mac Go Go see some live shows is what I'm getting at. Go to where they're playing the live shows. Ruby's Elixir. Burrito Border's really tight. They're... Burrito board has got good yeah. food, yeah, and Taco Bus. Or no, Burrito, what is it? Yeah, it's burrito, Taco Bus. Is it Burrito Bus? Burrito Border allowed us to go behind where they make food. Yeah, they on got our, good food, though. On our first uh, photo shoot. Our uh, Kiss After Dark, now I'm saying radio, collaboration. Yeah. We have to do a, a throwback show to bring everybody back together. But I guess what I'm saying is, like, the people that want to engage in the community, like the real community... I don't think that's a hipster. That's just local communities coming together. And that's a good thing. My, my thing is just be yourself. Dress yeah. the way that you want to dress. Act the way that you want to act. Don't buy a flannel shirt because some chick told you that she thinks it's cute. Don't wear 
Chuck Taylors because everybody else is wearing Chuck Taylors. Yeah, I was wearing Chuck Taylors before everybody was. That's don't, what I'm saying. I had Chuck Taylors in, like, before, like, I, I don't even know how long, dude. Don't act like you're better than people or that you're cooler than people. Just be mm-hmm. cool. Be yourself. Don't Preach. be a faggot. Preach. Yeah. Well, don't we have a song by Resonated called Be Yourself? Uh, Yeah. I don't know. It's uploaded. Yeah, we got it's, the whole first CD. Maybe it's not, we should... Going off of this topic, maybe we should add that in to our. Can you fuck with that? Yeah, I don't know how to cue that up. Uh, I got it. You got to talk. Yeah, it's on you there. Got to talk. I got it. So, anyways, um, yeah, I mean, people, hipsters, yeah, I guess like like was saying, there might be different categories, but I mean, it all comes down to it. They're all a bunch of bunch of faggots and yeah. all a bunch of cum belly faggots. Saki Bomb's the worst bar in St. Pete, by the way. Is it? Well, I like Saki. What? I, like I don't think I've ever been to Saki Bomb. So- I think Saki Bomb would be pretty Sock cool, but uh, I've met a couple people that are involved in running that place, and every time that I've What's met them, I think that they're... That dude's a fucking faggot. He's like my CBF of the year. See, it keeps coming back to everybody being a faggot. On Valentine's Day Eve, where is the love drink? Give us a sound effect, quick. <laughs> <laughs> Most in my Colt 45. Just we need one that's like somebody chugging beer or something. All right, this is this is what we're just talking about right now. Resonated, pl- like, I already thought of this about like two, maybe fucking possibly four years ago. Does that make them hipsters? Yeah, resonated was being yourself before it was cool. This is resonate with Justin. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
All right, and that was uh, "Be Yourself" by Resonated with uh, Justin and Run for Low. So uh, right now we're gonna be wrapping up the show. We got a little bit left, so we're going down to the the final act. Uh, Lax gonna looking for the beat. Um, it's gonna be probably search uh, Jason Del Luro. Just put in Jason and search that shit. Uh, so anyways, uh, Lax looking up the beat right now, and we're going to do one more freestyle, and then we're going to go in the movie quotes. Hold on, let me see it uploaded. Hold on. All right, so anyways. All right, so uh, yeah, we're finishing up the show right now. We're going to do one last freestyle for you guys, and then we're going to get into movie quotes and CBFs. Anything we want to talk about in between time will be in the ramp top. So I'm going to pull one of these out. And it just so happens to be Michael Sam. Let me get the mic. All right, so Michael Sam is the uh, he's the gay uh, college football player that's going into the NFL. That Who gives a fuck that he's gay? Exactly, but I don't it's give a the shit. fucking media, so they're all like, "Oh, he's gay and he's going into the NFL. He's oh, the God. first gay football player." Here, Mike, what do you guys say? My question is: is what is the media trying to distract us from with this topic? Well, that's what I, that's what I'm getting at with this. Is like uh, there's so many other things going on in this world. We still have our soldiers overseas. Like I, I don't even know if it's in the millions right now, but there's at least fifty thousand of them still overseas fighting some war that we can't even contrive to understand. I just don't get it, and. On top of that, you're we're talking about gun legislation where an executive law is going to tell us in a single state frame of mind, city states exist under the Constitution for a reason. And an, and an executive order is only there for kings and queens and dictatorships. Do we live in a fucking republic? We are private citizens. We carry guns if we feel like we need to carry guns to protect ourselves from whatever. It doesn't mean that everybody is a fucking mental ill person and is going to go up and shoot everybody, but it's just a means to take care of ourselves if shit goes down because it's happened before and fucking history repeats itself. Fuck. Yeah, you you just repeated yourself. Probably like a million times. Yeah, so... But this guy being gay has nothing to do with my personal life, dude. Like, if he wants to go play sports and be a faggot, that's up to him. I don't really care. And even if a state or whatever wants to allow gay marriage, so be it, dude. Let the states do what they want to do. It doesn't mean I have to personally agree with it because I love Chick-fil-A. Hey, just because he's gay doesn't mean he's a faggot, bro. Exactly, and that's a great point. And just because people are black does not mean that they are niggers. There's a big fine. There's a fine line, dude. I feel like what's up? Ray? I feel like you're fucking way off topic right now because we're talking about a gay guy in the NFL. And I don't feel like I'm way fucking, off topic. I we really don't. About fucking uh, gun legislation and fucking. Uh, now we're talking about how blacks are different from niggers. It's. We're talking about a gay football player in the NFL. That's and the topic. And he's black. And he's black, right? But it has nothing to do with him being black. And it has nothing to do it's with him being gay. gay. Gay is the topic that everybody's talking about. All right, Him so being gay, because he announced he's gay. He's not like, hey, I'm announcing I'm black. All right, well, going he's on, off I'm of... I'm announcing I'm gay. Going off of how you think I'm off topic, I think it's gay that Obama, a black president, can throw down an executive order to tell people what they can and can't do without going through the legislative fucking process, dude. Team Overby, drink. Drink. The president is not allowed to do shit like that. If it goes through Congress and it goes through all the actual steps, then so be it. Then that that's what we'll deal with. But he can't just create some fucking dumb law that everybody has to deal with because dude i and unlike you ricky mike might be able to agree with me on this but i signed an oath to this country to protect the constitution by any means possible and that means whatever but i did do that for a reason because i feel like our country is great i have belief in the american people but i don't necessarily agree with the everything that the government's doing and what they're allowing to get away with right now like 
it's 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 a soft subject that you can turn into whatever. I'm gonna turn it into a freestyle whenever we go into it, but it just sucks, dude. Like people need to fucking bear I down. I don't care if the dude's gay, transgendered, whatever. It doesn't he's, matter. He's a good athlete. Yeah. If he has NFL talent, he deserves a fair shot in the NFL. Exactly. That's what I'm getting at, dude. Like, what if what if the government came in and was like, no more gay people are allowed to play sports. They're gay. Fuck that. No, that's not how it works. Isn't that the way the country's going anyway? It feels like it. Isn't this going to be the USSA pretty soon? Don't say that. I have, Like I said, I have faith in the American people. I took an oath once upon a time. Exactly. To defend the Constitution of the United States of America. Which means? And to obey the orders of those appointed over me. And the ones that are appointed over me <laughs> would be your elected leaders, right? But how do elected leaders get into those positions? Well, because we trust them to carry out what the private citizens want. And if the private citizens don't agree with what their elected leaders are doing, that's what the Constitution is there for, to counteract um, that. And well, it's the, true. The very first part of the oath is that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. Right. And if the elected leaders aren't doing that, then it's our job to call them out on it and do things differently and vote differently. Libertarian. Absolutely. Yeah. Who who was it that uh, has a famous quote that says every 200 years you have to have a revolution? Is that Ben Franklin that said that quote? It's got to be one of those guys. It was Ben Stein. <laughs> Touche, Rick. In English, mother do you speak it? Alright, so continue with the uh, photo by uh, Let's uh, do movie quotes. Alright. All right. No, yeah. I thought we were going to do a freestyle movie quotes in CBFs. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Uh, the freestyle is taking quite a bit. I don't know if you can find it. I've got my, I've got my movie quote up. It, Here we go. Alright, movie quote it is. Chi Jin Chong Up in smoke Two The second one Chuchin Chong. Up in smoke, one or two? One of them. All right, I'm ready for yeah. mine. All right, go ahead. All right. Nobody can eat 58. You just said he could eat anything. You ever eat 58? Nobody ever eat 58. Hey, Baba Luga, we got a bet here. My boy says he can eat 50 eggs, he can eat 50 eggs. Yeah, man, how long? 
the hour. Well, I believe I'll take part of that wager. No, two dollars, right here, the other way to go. Oh, come on now, let's talk some money. Oh, I twenty dollars. Anything, like syndicate it. will cover any kind of bet you want to make. Go, go get some paper. Drag. Fifty eggs got to weigh a good six pounds. Man's gut can't hold that. They'll swell up and bust them open. They're gonna kill him. All right, get your money up. Now, gambler, dynamite, come on, get it up. Coconut head's gonna take all the money. Come on, loudmouth, get it up. Oh, wait just a minute. How's it going? We got a rabbit's Four, fifteen minutes, eat the whole thing in an hour. One rule: no throwing up. He throws up. You forfeit everything. Now, when was the last time you ever saw my boy throw up? Now, shut your mouth and give your money to Coco. Come on, now, right over here. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you have to say, 51. Why couldn't you say 35 or 39? That seems a nice round number. Look, that's money you're talking about. What's the matter with you? Yeah, well, it'd be something to do. I love the banjo playing in the background here. All right, anybody have any guesses? <coughs> cool hand, Luke. Fuck you, Mike. That's absolutely correct. Great movie if you haven't seen it, by the way. A lot of epic scenes in that movie. Not only the egg thing, but whenever he uh, has to get in a fight and he doesn't fight back, he just like lets the dude beat him up until the other guy gives up from beating him up for so long. The other guy gets tired from beating him up. That sounds like some Fight Club shit. Dude, it's, dude uh, yeah, Cool Hand Luke is the original Fight Club. Yes, definitely. Damn it, right. Chuck Palahniuk. Ricky, you ready? Ricky's up next. Um, he's late, as always. Hmm. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, uh, uh, exactly. I'm uh, early time. CBF. I'm just, like, while we're waiting on Ricky, um, as always. <clears throat> Here it is. Okay. All right, Saluti. That's what he says when he's late. He was like, dude, I was loading. I got fucking apps right now. Or I got a fucking advertisement. Hold on. 12 seconds. Yeah, Jesus. Bullshit. Yeah, that, the same excuse as always. Ex- same excuses. Always late. This guy is fucking awful. All right, shut the fuck up. Shitty internet connection. <laughs> There's always a good excuse. Uh, is the star of such adult fare as what was that one called again? You better shut your mouth or I'm gonna fuck it. That's right. I'm surprised I forgot that. Are you fucking with me? <laughs> no, they're fucking with each other. Oh my god. No. What? Uh, granny pennies? Excuse me? How can you tell? <laughs> this is so crazy. I was literally just watching you, like, right before we got here. This is so crazy. This is you, right? My name's Granny Panties, and nobody wants <gasps> to fuck me. <gasps> Nothing's whiter than my big gay ass. Where'd you get that? <laughs> oh, I entered gay and ass, and it was the top hit. It's had 200,000 views in three hours. Honey, you are, like, I'm actually jealous right now, because you're, like, super famous. <laughs> what, baby, take, please take our picture. I need a picture with Granny Panties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is awesome. All right, yeah. smile. Okay, got it. Did you get it? Oh, thank you, baby. Thank you. Email me that. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. he's the worst photographer. Okay, good. You're gay? Yeah. And I'm on the internet wearing a diaper? Oh, who knew you'd come to Pittsburgh and meet a celebrity? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to binge drink now until I pass out. Okay. <laughs> She'll be fine. So you guys suck each other's cocks, huh? I like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough. Oh, I'm embarrassing him. I love when he gets embarrassed. He's not living out loud, you know, so he gets all like, oh, you guys are totally in love, aren't you? Zachary, we are. Wow. I, oh, God, I just... I think I got it. <laughs> Save some for me. I'm, 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 I can't keep my hands off him. I'm so sorry. one too many guys. Although, right. although he does Wait, most no, it's, on, sack, it's not over. You know what I mean? In the sack and of the sack. All right, that's no, enough. No. You look, you've drunk too much. You do this every time. You get too merry for everybody in the room, and you just, you can't contain yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. And by containing myself, do you mean containing myself in the closet? 
in a closet of denial? Is that... Is, uh, no, no, no. Is that sure, this is going to be real. No, but this is exactly why you haven't met my mother. <clears throat> Shut up, right. bitch. My guess it is... Wasn't the, well, he my, had it right. Okay. It wasn't the scene I wanted. I wanted the one where they were at the bar, and he's, like, first talking to Justin Long. And he's like, so, you go to school here? And he's like, no, I'm uh, here with somebody. And he's like, oh, well, I'm from Hollywood, and I'm a fucking actor. When he's talking about him actually being a gay porn star, that was what I wanted, but they gave me that scene. All yeah. right. So, so anyways, Mike, Mike wins. Right. Mike wins, I think. He got the most correct tonight. <laughs> yeah. He got Cool Hand Luke. He got Zach and Mary. Did you have one? Did we already do yours? What was his? Mine was Cheech and Chong, the oh, last yeah, scene. Cheech and Chong. Well, I got one point. Too bad it doesn't carry over like singular or AT and T. I want to do the Howard Stern thing someday. What's that? I want to have like a chick take her panties off, and I want to. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Um, so C- CBFs, CBFs. I'll start off. Uh, my CBF is Ricky. You're off. Uh, my You're... CBF is Lack. For what? For, for picking me That's not a legit reason and for us not being live That's your fucking fault asshole We are and live you, Oh so now we are live Even though Lack fucking was like Oh god damn it it's Ricky's fucking fault Cause he signed in to the fucking Namse account You fucking faggot I'm always signed into the Namse account Shut the, the fuck the up The point is Is that And anybody can contest this That knows you Is that you're late To fucking everything <laughs> You're a CBF because of that. Fix it or fucking. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Well, when you get your fucking license back, then you can fucking drive over to our site and be late for our shit. I can't wait to do that, but so, I so can't. When you, when you can drive, then you can fucking okay, give me shit about being late the places. This brings up another CBF because I should. Whoa, be able whoa, to... whoa, 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 wait, whoa, wait, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was no, in the middle dude, of it. I was no. in the middle of another CBF. Man, you guys, I'm not going to let this happen. No, no, no. We're fine. Shut the fuck up. The reason I can't drive is because I'm waiting for the government to push paperwork in order to Why are to you make waiting on the government? Because they have a stack. Like, I went to the place, and they said, yeah, there's like a stack of papers this tall, and whenever we get around to it, yeah, you'll be good to go. Well, there's a government conspiracy where oh, sh- the oh, government wants you to drink as much as you can, and then the government sits outside of drinking establishments, and they take your money. Yes. You drinking inside these. It's called entrapment. (laughs) No, it's not a movie quote. That's a government thing. Anyways, uh, you guys are more than welcome to stay at the house if you're too drunk to drive. I got one of your so thanks. Yeah, no problem. CBF. My CBF. Yeah, that was cool. Did we rub each other? Uh, No, you passed out sitting (laughs) up. Passed out sitting up. (laughs) Yeah. For Loco, shout out, hashtag. So there was no sword fighting last night? I wish there was. I was trying to get gay with him. But I think we were supposed to work. freestyle, and then I was in the middle of a talking, and then I looked over and Lax asleep. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, yeah. at least we got one freestyle in. We got, yeah, we got one in today. We did all our legal shit that we yeah. had to do for the pre show shit. For sure. Oh, man. I wanted to hear about you guys sword fighting. Yeah, I mean, I was hoping it was going to happen. I was trying to get him all drunk to, to fuck him, and then I passed out. Yeah, I mean, you got me. You got the first part down. It's just you fell asleep. Right. So. Like, if you're gonna be a rapist or something like that, you gotta don't wait get, till the other person right. falls asleep. Don't get too like. Because my thing is, is like, I feel like. Well, good thing I didn't want to rape you. You totally could have. Yeah. I Thank you for not. But I just put on Netflix and watched right. something on there. Detach CBF for the pound there. Roofies. You're no longer a CBF. I don't know why they call them roofies. They should be called floories. <laughs> All right, we'll tune in next week, uh, Flores. Oh, yeah, go ahead, guys. My CBF is Hallmark Holidays. Mm, explain. <laughs> no explanation <laughs> needed. I don't understand what that means, though. Like Hallmark Holidays as the cards, or Hallmark Holidays as in like the Hallmark holidays? Holidays. Are you Asian? Holidays. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's why I got these lights on. So you, get... you better play the bong thing. Yeah, hold on. Where is it? From the bong. Hold on. Your fucking HP assistant is in the goddamn way. There it is. All right. Bong rip. Bong rip. Where'd it go? Crickets. Crickets. Excellent. See, like I said, uh, Ricky's man. always late, dude. Fuck that shit, man. I ain't the fucking <laughs> sound, dude. We lost him. Ben, I do fuck... like your shades, though. R.I.P., Ben. Uh, bong hit. There it goes. Bong. There it goes. All right, ready? <laughs> All right. All right. So, anyways, uh, my CBF is fucking 
uh, my work for making me work a double on a Friday. All oh, day. dang. On Valentine's Day? Yeah. So or, I mean, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day with an M because it's... A Mexican. They always got to throw M's in wherever they can. Yeah, be romantic fucking 24-7, man. 365. All right, it's so you got to work... one bullshit day. You got to work all day tomorrow. Well, it's that and the fact that they scheduled me when I took off Saturday, and it's bullshit. Well, I got all sa- all day Saturday off. Yeah, I took it off, but they scheduled me. And then after Damn. The Damn the bad luck. Yeah, uh, yeah. My, st- my work, always a CBF. On the... Uh, Shameless plug. Tomorrow night, Red Lion. There's a party called Zombie Times Day. I'm DJing. Come out, drink some beer, hang out, get naked, shit like that. I feel like I got a Facebook invite to that. Rub the today, DJ's dick. But I didn't know who it was. You know, appreciate your DJ. I'll go back on my Facebook and pretend like I'm going to go. Yeah. Even though I can't because I got to work. Just, just say you're going to go and it makes it look like. All I see is like. Pay attention to the Facebook post. Because, like, wherever I work, like, where I work. I'm just gonna see two two tops two the whole night, two tops, two chains, whatever. And then it's gonna be like the people that like can't really afford to go out because it's not really that expensive of a restaurant. Like I feel like the people that are totally fucked is that the people that work at like nicer restaurants because I work at a pretty decent restaurant has really good food, but it's not like a place you want to like impress somebody by going to. And maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe I'll be busy as fuck and I'll make like 200 bucks, but yeah. we'll see. You're get $2 on the $2 bill. Yeah, two, two <laughs> on 20. Two chain. I feel like if you could bring up the freestyle, we should outro with the freestyle. Anything. Just pull up anything instrumental and let's freestyle out. And that's the show. Um, if you can find it, great. If not, we have Resonated coming into the studio next week. And then uh, the week following. We have uh, Matt Mill. He's the journalist that uh, he infiltrated the the press conference Super Bowl of the Super Bowl, and he went in and while one of the it was the MVP of the game. I forget the fuck. One, he was a black guy. Whatever. February, defense. Black History Month. Yeah. A black guy uh, was I'll trying look. to give his what's up. No, go ahead. Yeah, no. but he went in there and he grabbed the mic from this black dude and was like, 9-11 was an inside job. <laughs> ben Button, our co- uh, political correspondent, happens to know the guy. Yeah, they went to high school together. Imagine that. <laughs> so we're going to have him on the show uh, a week after next week to talk about – it's going to be a 9-11 show. So That's 81. 80, we got resonated. Right. So next week is resonated. The week after is uh, Matt Mill, the journalist that infiltrated the press conference at the Super Bowl by wearing an old fake pass and like redigitalizing something. So really got in. That's how he got in. Yeah, All we'll right. talk about it more yeah, on the show gotta, he'll give us two the weeks story. from now. So if you can find an instrumental, let's let's end. I really want a freestyle right now. All right, all right, let's go. All right, so so for the outro, show seventy nine. He's yawning and shit. This is show seventy nine. We're uh, leaving on this note. Rock, paper, scissors, <laughs> I won twice, bitch. Started off. Okay. All right. Broke and I'm famous, famous too. Part, Part two, two, what it do? Two. People come up to me in the morning. I got what I'm saying because I've been snoring. I think about two days in shit in the fucking bag. Scratch my anus And then I do shit Like I'm being fucking sanus I don't even know What the fuck I just said But I'm gonna fucking Go to motherfucking bed I gotta work in the fucking morning Fuck you too I'm fucking boring Fuck this shit And life's about to go Star kid about to fucking Drop the radio Fucking elbow Your motherfucking ass I'm about to shove Fucking my whole fist in your ass Fist of cuffs Fist of ruffs Doing this shit And I'm fucking Just grab my nuts Go Star kid What did you want to I'm about to punch you in the jewel. Broke and famous. Shop at the thrift store before Macamore. Before Macamore. You know I'm broke and I'm famous. Wearing K Triple L. Country t shirts. Trying to fucking do a radio thing like the old radio station that I never was a part of. 
Alright, this is Star Kid. What it do on the trumpet? Yeah, blow me in my butt. Gay and retarded? No, don't give a fuck. Yeah, about that Michael Moore bullshit. Your gay play sports. Star Kid, what it do? Alright, here we go. It's Michael Sam, you dumb bitch. You all don't right. more out the fat guy who fucking shopped at the grocery store and got all the fucking fast food shit. Motherfucking got a fucking bad ass shit. No, cause he's fucking fat and unfamous. But we're fucking broke and unfamous. We don't broke. have any money. It's sugar broke. and mean shit. Bro, we don't get bro. any money for the shit. Bro, we still do bro. the shit every bro. fucking week. Get the shit out. Now I'm say radio every Thursday on your motherfucking radio. Suck my dick, bitch. And cause you can sniff my asshole. Broken yeah. on famous, yeah. just our kid with Rasta Ricky. You know we got Mike Salabaki, and he is Broken the doctor of local shit. Give me the trumpet, Broken right on now. famous. Like it in my booty hole, get it round, yeah, angle. Broken angle on it famous. Up. Valentine's Day, I'll be single as fuck. Big baby in the Broken seat. on famous. Got her going down in the motherfucking breeze, yeah. K Main, New on Jersey. Famous. All the way down to Tampa Bay. All right, I guess that's it. Thank you for tuning in to show 79. We'll see you next week. Show 80 was resonated. Yeah. Dope show. Anti-CBF pounded. Okay. All right. Good show, guys. Later.